Hello and welcome back to Ritz Kits. Um, been absent for a little bit. Uh, wasn't intentional. As you can probably still hear in my voice, I've got one of these bloody cold things that I just can't shake. In the last 10 days, I've had this bloody cold three times, so uh, it's doing my nutting. Um, so, on the 1st of May was my 60th birthday, and I managed to procure myself some nice little additions to the stash as well so as some birthday stuff so here we have 28 millimeter british napoleonic foot artillery uh many kit manufacturers victrix um you can make three guns and three limbers in this with uh three short six three long six three nine and three 5.5 inch howitzers as well as you've got 15 crew members, so that's five per gun. That's only instructions. Uh, everything that you're just about to see on the Napoleonics ranges, I, mean, I, I picked it up for a bit of a steal from someone who uh, no longer had use for it. So that's the first one. But then we've got, uh, and that isn't what the price that I've paid. We have Victrix 28mm hard plastic. 60 figure box set of the British Napoleonic Highlander Centre Companies. Not these kilts. Uh, and these are the um, flags of their centre companies. Nice, it's quite a heavy box. Uh, there's some of the guys that you've got there on the sides. A little bit blurred, but I'll go through. That's uh, 42nd Regiment Black Watch, 79th Regiment Car Cameroon, and the 92nd Regiment Gordon. So he's uh, Black Watch, he's Cameroon, he's Gordon, Cameroon, uh, Black Watch, and Gordon. Regimental officer, and there's some more pictures of some of the guys. Uh, it is say there is stuff that's been painted, some stuff that's been assembled. So I'll just have to go through it all and uh, find out what's what. So here we have by Warlord Games, uh, Prussian landwehr. So this is part of the Prussian army that came to save old Nosy's uh, Nosy's battle at Waterloo. <coughs> Excuse me. So in here is twenty-four Prussians. In there, they must be out there in coats. Yeah. So we've got 24 Prussians. Yeah, this is a bit of a battle. So we have the British Union Brigade Cavalry, another Warlord one. In there is 12 uh, figures, cavalry, and I would think, yeah. The Union Brigade, we all know who the Union Brigade is. The Royal Scots Greys, that famous charge across the land. Uh, and then we also can do the 1st Royal Regiment of Dragoons uh, Peninsula Campaigns. And I'm, I'm going to make the assumption that it's only by changing out the, the headwear as opposed to the must be twice. I should look forward to having a look at these. Got greys. Union Brigade. Any of the three regiments in the Union Brigade, as well as the headgear options for the Peninsula. So the Union Brigade consisted of the First Royal Regiment of Dragoons, Second Regiment of Dragoons, which is the Scots Greys, and the Sixth Dragoons, which is the Innis Killings from Ireland. So. Uh, 
that's what can be made from there. Then we have Perry Miniatures, British Napoleonic Hussars. I do like Perry's miniatures in this one. There's 14, 14 mounted figures. Uh, the horses seem to be better in Perry miniatures than they are in the Warlord game stuff. But hey ho, that is how they are manufactured. So being able to map in here, we have the 7th British Hussars, 10th British, the 15th British, 16th British, 1st King's German Legion, 2nd King's German Legion, 3rd King German Legion, Hanoverian, Hanoverian Cumberland, and Hanoverian Lundberg. Okay, so maybe changes in headgear, but I'll we'll have to have a have a look at that. All figures except the trumpeter. Okay, yes, there is uh, five variants of headgear for each Hussar figure. So every single Hussar gets can have five different variants of headgear. Some very tall Busbees to uh, full Shakos, short Shakos, etc. So that looks, uh, uh, we've got a capless Shako there. That would be an interesting one, I think, to put together, come up with. Last of all, in the this bundle, we have the British Starter Army as well. It's uh, dirty. Never mind. It is what it is. So in this box, 28mm historical figures, we have 108 plastic and metal British line infantry in Belgic Shakos. 36 plastic and metal Hanoverian infantry. Okay. Uh, officer on horse. Royal artillery, nine pounder cannon. And uh, full colour flag sheets. I'm not going to open it all up. I can tell that there's a shed load of sprues in there. But there's nothing on the box. Actually, sod it. Let's have a quick look. Oh, okay. So he's obviously two of the 92nd Highland Regiment of Foot. Okay, there's an Avarian infantry. Right, I've got those. He gave me those. They're already made. There's Scott. Okay. He was obviously doing his research and the second Coldstream Regiment of Foot Guard. That'd be Andy. Oh, look where the horses are. Oh, we have got some stuff that's already made up in there, and these are handy little stands. Like a Perry miniature. Okay, right, I'm not going to get all of this stuff out. Oh yeah, there's a shed load of plastic in the box. Um, British Waterloo Line Infantry Instructions, Flags. Loads of flags. Literally make anything. I sure enjoy going through some of this. More flags on the... Uh, and a variant infantry. There. Colors. Nice. Okay, so this is going to be fun. So, yeah, I'll pick that up for a bit of a steal. I say a bit of a steal. It's about £70 English. All of that. My own birthday spend. Treating myself. Uh... Warhammer Age of Sin Sigma Angler Squid. You get two two of the big squigs and some little goblins. Uh I don't quite me, but I think Al Wood done something on Mangler Squids. Uh 
Uh, yes, that is the price I paid, £55. So yeah, that looks quite a nice, nice model. Look forward to building that at some point. And my last one, well, I'm quite chuffed with this one. This is another Age of Sigmar. It is Sons of Behemoth, King Brood, Broad. He's a giant, so he's about, so about eight to nine inches tall, I think, when he's when it's made. But you don't just. So this is one miniature. But it's not just this one miniature. We turn to the back. You have the options in this kit to make five different versions using the same body obviously the different hammers and heads so yeah, this one will be fun look forward to putting this giant together i do like giants i have got another giant that i've recently added to the stash these all metal so yeah that's it that's what we've got at the moment uh, thanks for watching. Again, sorry I was absent from all you people. But thank you for all you uh, lovely people that have subscribed recently, all, to all my old subscribers. Um, I appreciate all you people. Thank you very, very, very much. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.